All right, welcome to TYT Sports. Every once in a while here, uh, we do a wrestling segment with me and the legendary internet TV director, Jesus Godoy. <laughs> yeah! All right, uh, so in this case, we're doing best finishing moves. First, we're gonna do actually the worst one, just for fun, and then we'll go through the top six finishing moves of all time in wrestling history. Now, I'm a little old school, so I might throw in a little uh, living legend Bruno Sammartino action on you, but I'm not that old school. All right, Jesus, worst finishing move of all time. I know people are gonna hate this because he probably was, if not the face of wrestling for decades and decades and decades, but he definitely had the weakest move of the leg drop, and it was Hulk Hogan. Bitch. Yeah, is it, sorry. No, no, but, but the, here's, here's the only problem with that. Uh, it's so obvious. Yeah. It's like, I figured of course be, it's the worst uh, finishing move of all time. Right, I figured it'd be on your list too at some point, but so I stole it. Right, okay. But I, now, but like, who drops a leg? Yeah. Like, I was like, oh no, don't drop your leg on me. In the old days, they do like the suplex where they like break your neck and shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, paw driver, that's yeah. a finishing move, that's, man. You're not gonna get up from a paw driver. Like. Oh, you dropped your leg on me. All right, whatevs. And, and he, he, he was the guy who body slammed Andre the Giant. So you would think he had a better move. Like, he was strong. You would think, you're like, come on, dude. Like, the leg drive was kind of weak. Yeah, uh, no question. Now, so we kind of agree on that. So I have a secret second one. Okay. I knew, yeah. Yeah. The chicken wing <laughs> of Bob Backlund. Now, Bob Backlund was a champion before Hulk Hogan. And of course, in the middle, there was the camel, uh, you know, there was the, the, the sheet, the iron sheet, right? But, so that's why I'm old school. And I remember, he's like this square guy, I don't know if you guys, uh, new school doesn't remember this. And he'd be like, okay, I'm just gonna try to wrestle you. Like real <laughs> wrestling moves and stuff. And at the end, he'd grab your arm behind the back and yes, pull you up. I remember this. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, what? first of all, you can't get out of that? Oh no! He's got him <laughs> in the chicken wing! <laughs> that's it? That's it? I don't know, it's that the fucking the chicken, chicken wing. wing, that's why it sucks. <laughs> Just jump down. <laughs> like, and a chicken wing? That's like your threatening move? Why don't you just call it the pepperoni pizza? I don't know, it was just, it was so weak. And it's funny that like the two biggest champions when I was growing up, Bob Backlund and Hulk Hogan had the two worst yeah. finishing moves. I agree, yeah. So now let's move on to honorable mention or number six, if you will, uh, of the finishing moves of best of all time. This was towards the end of my wrestling watching career. Mm -hmm. And it was The Rock, The Rock's um, people's elbow. He, he had that charisma in this, when he, he brought everybody into the fight and then he called it the people's elbow. So that was kind of cool. He did all the, 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 the acting and he went from one end to the other and then he actually had enough time to take off his elbow pad and then <laughs> drop the elbow. He runs, fucking runs over off this guy and then he goes. Here's the part I agree and disagree on. Uh, look, calling it the people's elbow kicks ass. Yeah. Like, that's an awesome name. But the actual move itself was like, well, who I sick did, who I sick did, here I go. And then at the end, it's just an elbow. No, but the fact that he actually still had time to take off his elbow pad, yeah. I just like the whole, the whole scene. No, so I hear you, but he had time to take off the elbow yeah. pad because it's fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know that. All right, anyway, so my uh, honorable mention is the figure four leg lock. Okay, now as a kid, I can't begin to tell you how many times I try to get my friends in the figure four leg lock. <laughs> okay, I, I was WWF all the way, so I, Greg the Hammer Valentine's the guy who would always put it on in, in the old days, right? And then I tried once, and then I had to have my friends put the figure four leg lock on me and see if I had to tap out. I'm like, how bad is this figure four leg lock, right? But then I found a way to reverse it. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that. Number five, this was also one of those moves that, I don't know how, how impactful it was. Obviously none of these were, but um, <laughs> it was by um, Jake the Snake. And it was the one where he dropped the DDT, he put, you, he put his head under your armpit, and then he just dropped you on your head. Right. So that was kind of cool, but the, the, thing, the thing he did after was fun was he actually dropped an actual snake on you. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> and then fucking grabs the snake, he drops the snake on him, ah, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah! And when he was leaving, I'm like, 
Ah, oh, that's a cool hick. I love that. <laughs> it's a cool hick move. That's yeah, <laughs> totally. He drops a snake and leaves it. All right, that's awesome. Uh, I'm glad you put that one on because, like, there's the juxtaposition. Like, the Adonis would cut your hair or whatever, yeah. right? Or no, no, no. The the barber, the Brutus, uh, Brutus Beefcake would cut your <laughs> yeah. hair, right? Adonis would prance around in other ways. Okay. Anyway, I'm like, dude, cutting the hair. That's so weird. Like, don't. That's what do you. What are you, a barber? Yeah. Okay. But a snake dropping a snake on someone, that's badass. Yeah. And he came in with snake boots, like the snake, it looked like, like the snake pants, and he had the, the cool mullet going. Yeah, that so dude he was, was from, totally from the swamp. Yeah, that dude was, <laughs> was from, yeah. Matter, like, I don't know if it was like a badass lands of, of Florida or West Virginia yeah. or something, but that dude was from the south, and he was going to drop a snake on And him. he always came in with that the statue, the bag, the bag with yeah. the snake. And everybody's wondering, well, what, what kind of snake does he have this time? My number five move, going old school again, the camel clutch. <laughs> Come on, when the Irish, he, <laughs> he'd put that, he'd get like, he get in position and such. He'd be like, "Oh no, here comes the camel clutch!" What sick the And then he'd hold him. Oh, I got you now, Hogan. <laughs> oh no, here he goes. He's got him. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those of you guys who remember that, there's nothing you look forward to more than the camel clutch. If you like bad guys, if you like heels, <laughs> right? And I was like, "Oh, he's gonna do it to Bobby Backlund." No chicken wing today. You're going home hungry. <laughs> and then, of course, when Hulk beat him, that was the best. He once did a Stone Cold Stunner on Linda McMahon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He did it on Vince McMahon, I'm sure. Yeah, and he, did. He, he did it on the on one night and he, out of the stadium. On one night, he did it on the entire McMahon family. 